Right, for my next um, sponsored Instagram, I'm working with Kilner and they've got a cookbook out. So um, they've sent some lovely Kilner jars and the recipe book and I've got to pick something out of the book to make and I've decided on this. I'm going to make this sweet chilli ketchup. It looks fairly simple but it looks really scrummy and something that I genuinely would enjoy eating. So let's go. First up guys, wash your hands. So the next thing to do was to core the apples and unfortunately the corer has, I don't know, it's missing in action. So um, we're going to have to do it manually. So I've got a sharp knife and it's time to core the apples, keep the skin on um, and then chop them roughly. So that's what I'm going to do now. all the apples cored and chopped up there's all the remains all the pips and all the, the crusty bit in the middle that we don't want and that is one kilograms worth so we just got a whole bag of cooking apples from Sainsbury's for that so next up we're going to be chopping and deseeding some scotch bonnets now obviously when you're dealing with chilies you've got to be super careful that you don't touch your face you don't rub your eye don't put your hands down your trousers or anything like that because you could be in some serious trouble if you do so we need two of these and these are known for being very hot. See there's uh, the scotch bonnet so and there's the seeds that we've removed so I just need to chop these up a bit more roughly now. Up, we need four of these bird eye chili, which are these very skinny ones. We need four of those deseeded again and chopped up roughly the same as the other ones. <laughs> Here's the chopped up bird eye chilies and the scotch bonnet and here's all the, the inside but the seeds and stuff that we don't need. Now there's obviously technical ways to DC but do whatever gets the job done, don't be too precious about it. So the blitzing of the chilies and the apples isn't that easy so we're doing it in gradual amounts just to get it done. So give it a mix. No, we don't need to because we're about... Because everything else is... No, but we're going to be mixing with other stuff in a minute, so don't bother. I don't want it to get any... I want it coarse. Okay, okay. So we've, we've mashed up all the apples and the chilies now, so now we have to add it to a stainless steel pan. So I'm going to do that now. Ooh. I've added the cores and the pips from the apples from earlier. Oh, a little bit of chilli pip got snuck in there, remove that. We need to add 450 millilitres of cider vinegar to that pot too. Next we want five centimetres length of ginger, fresh ginger, which we then got to peel and chop. That's a bit longer, I'll snip the end. Just adding the ginger now. Oh, spilling half of it. <laughs> well done, so. Adding 450 millilitres of water now too. And now it's time to leave that to simmer for half an hour. Next, after it's been simmering for 30 minutes, we've got to pour through this sieve-like thing into this bowl. And we're going to have to leave that overnight so it, all the juices come out of the bits that are still a bit lumpy. Well, it certainly doesn't look appetizing right now, but I can hear that it is trickling through. So hopefully tomorrow we should have 
a good amount that has gone through the little holes. Right, so this is all the liquid we have got through the sieve um, from all the apples and everything all that cooked together. So now we've got to work with this liquid and get to the next stage of the process. So it says measure the liquid back into the pan and for each 600 millilitres add 500 grams of the preserving sugar. So I've measured out 500 grams of the sugar here. I'll just show you what the bag looks like. There you go. It is about 600 millilitres all in all. There's a bit extra here. So um, I will just be adding one dose of the 500 um, of the sugar. Right, next we need to add the juice of two limes. So I'm gonna use this old school juicer from probably the 60s. Look at those colors. Oh, this really tiring on my arms. This is why I don't cook. It's it's surprisingly strenuous on the body to cook. Like I'm gonna put a seat as well. I might ask Dad if he can come and help me with this part of it. Oh dear. The time to put the lime juice in the pan. So we've now I've got to. Um, try and make sure that all the sugar is dissolved so I'm going to stir it till it feels like there's no sugar particles left in it um, and then we have to bring it to the boil and then after 10 it 10 so we're going to bring it to the boil then and then after 10 minutes we're going to add yeah one red pepper so while we wait for that to um come to a lovely boil I'm going to prepare the pepper this needs to be de-seeded and then finely diced. I'm no expert with all this stuff, by the way. I'm trying to sound professional, but I think you can see straight through it, can't you? Peppers are actually really easy to de-seed because all the peppers are attached to this white bit. So once you remove that, it, you're left pretty much with the bits that you want. So it's a lot less faff than when you de-seed chilies, for instance. Right, time to add the peppers now. Ooh. I'm hoping this will come a lot more pink because in the picture, it's a lot more pink than it is like this orangey mustardy color right now. So fingers crossed. Just cooling down, which hopefully I'll be able to decanter into a kilner jar very soon. So this is the finished sweet chilli ketchup. Now, I don't know if you can see it. I might have to hold it up to the light. You see how here the um, peppers have diffused all throughout the liquid. Like they're not stuck at the top. They go all the way down to the bottom. And to ensure that happens, make sure you let it cool before you put it in the jar. Otherwise it will just all rise to the top. Doesn't it look yummy? Mm, mm, mm. There's a hundred recipes in this book, so I thoroughly recommend it. Lots of nice and actually very easy things to do for a novice, much like myself. So, yeah, go and check it out. This isn't sponsored, by the way. I just thought I'd tell you that I think it's quite a nice little book. Thanks for watching. See you in a video soon.